we're basically going to put into words all of the same things that we just drew on our periodic table before. Um, so the quantum mechanics model, bless you, um, is what we are describing in this with the principal energy levels of the numbers. <laughs> the sublevels correspond to the numbers. I mean letters, sorry. If you're watching the video and hearing arguing, that's just two stellar basketball players fighting about who's worse. So the numbers are corresponding to the numbers we wrote on our periodic table and the letters as well. He needs the validation. Just give it to him. Tell him he's good. Tap him on the shoulder. Say you're athletic. No. We got you. You lost by twenty. All right, I that wasn't it. Baseball. You guys lost by sixty. And about Principal 20. energy levels are going hey, to refer to a done. region around the nucleus of an atom, where the electron is likely to be moving. The energy levels are assigned values in order of increasing energy. <laughs> So, for example, energy level one has the lowest energy, and then energy level seven, if you are, um, if there is an energy level seven, will have the highest energy. The average distance of the electron from the nucleus increases with increasing energy, and within each principal energy level, electrons occupy energy sublevels. The sublevels, as a reminder, are the no uh, I keep saying numbers. They're the letters S, P, D, and F that we talked about. And um, the number of energy sublevels is the same number as the number of energy levels. Sublevels are labeled S, P, D, and F. Again, that goes in order from tallest to shortest. And then atomic orbitals represent the electron probability cloud. Each orbital may contain at most two electrons. That's going to be kind of the key for this. Um, so if I pull this back up. I'm going to put this on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Within the S sublevel, the most electrons at any given energy level that you can have in the S sublevel is two. Two electrons, two electrons, two, 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 two. The most electrons that you can have at any given energy level in the P sublevel is six. The most electrons that you can have in the D sublevel at any given energy level is 10. And the most in F would be 14. Do you see where I got those numbers from? OK. With that, you need half of the number of orbitals as you have electrons, because two electrons can fit in each orbital. Um, we'll talk more about why later on. But for now, what you need to understand is that if you have two electrons, you need one orbital to hold those two electrons. So since any energy level within the S sublevel has up to two electrons, the most you'll need is one orbital. So S needs just one orbital. For P, since I have six electrons, those six electrons can be housed within just three orbitals because two electrons can fit in each orbital. So three orbitals for my P sublevel. Since D has up to 10 electrons, we would need five orbitals. And since F has up to 14 electrons, it would need seven orbitals. So on that page of our notes, that's what these numbers are corresponding to. You don't need to memorize them if you understand how to read it on your periodic table. 
So it's always going to be half the number of electrons. So for S, it's going to be one orbital. For P, it's going to be three orbitals. For D, it's going to be five orbitals. And for F, it's going to be seven. And then for our energy levels and number of sublevels, we said that they would match. It would be the same number for both. And this is why. So for energy level one, if I'm looking at my electron map, the only sublevel that has an energy level one is the S sublevel because that's the only one that we started numbering at one. Ener uh, the P sublevel starts at energy level two. The D sublevel starts at energy level three. And F sublevel starts at energy level four, which means the one energy level does not exist for any of the other ones. So the only sublevel that includes energy level one is the S sublevel. So one S is all there is. So just one sublevel and it's one S. For energy level two, so we'll look at the same thing. Energy level two, there is an energy level two in the S sublevel, and there is an energy level two in the P sublevel, but there is no two for D and there is no two for F. So there are two different sublevels in energy level two. They are two S and two P. In the third energy level, is there a third energy level in the S sublevel? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Is there a third energy level in the P sublevel? Yes. yes. Is there a third energy level in the D sublevel? No. Yes. And is there a third energy level in the F sublevel? No. No. So, S, P, and D all have the third energy level, so that's three of them. It's going to be 3S, 3P, and 3D. There is no such thing as 3F. Something like that might be a really good test question or quiz question for me to ask you is which of the following doesn't exist? And I might give you 3S, 3P, 3D, and 3F. And then it's just a matter of can you look on your periodic table and tell me which one exists versus doesn't. Energy level four, do I have an S sublevel for energy level four? Yeah. Yes. Do I have a P sublevel? Yeah. Yes. Do I have a D sublevel? Yes. Yes. And what about F? Yes. Yes. So all four of them, yeah. so we have 4S, 4P, 4D, and 4F. And then we'll stop there. With each of them, I'm going to skip over orbitals since I think the easiest way to do it is electrons first and then just take half of it to figure out the number of orbitals. For the 1s sublevel in energy level 1, the maximum number of electrons that you can have is 2. So that means that the number of orbitals that you need is just one orbital in energy level 1. In energy level 2, we're looking at 1s and 2p. So if I look at, or sorry, 2s and 2p. Did I write 1? No, 2s, sorry. I just read 1. 2s and 2p, that's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 electrons in the second energy level. So if I have a total of 8 electrons in energy level 2, how many orbitals would I need to hold that if it's half of the number of electrons? Four. Four. For energy level three, so we're counting anything with a big number three, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 electrons. So in energy level 3, I have 18 electrons. Oops, sorry. 18 goes here, not there. 18 between 3s, 3p, and 3d. What is half of 18? 9. 9. And then for energy level 4, you're counting anything that has a big number 4. So 2 plus 10 here would be 12, plus 6 here it would be 18, plus 14 here, 32. 32. So if I have 32 electrons, how many orbitals do I need? 16. Perfect. I'll zoom that in so that you can see it better. And we'll stop it there.